Tia Taku here and today we are back with another figure unboxing but this figure is actually not mine it's my fiance's I actually lost my order of this due to native but this is the 1-6 scale I don't know the character's name but it is a parfait girl that's what I call it she's super cute and this figure is super rare now like this thing is super hard to find literally people are selling this on Yahoo auctions for like 600 or more dollars uh, right now which is insane like that's way too much money for a scale that's in, like it's crazy but I'm gonna unbox her figure today I am gonna be so happy even though I don't have mine I'm gonna be having seeing hers on her shelf so either way I'm pretty happy about it I'm so happy she got this she this figure we ordered this two years ago and she's finally out. I'm super excited to have her, or not me, but to have her in the house, I guess. But let's get to the unboxing. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite dessert? Since she's parfait girl, uh, she's technically a dessert, like the way she's sitting at her base and everything. But I'm super excited to have her. Or, I keep saying she's mine. I'm used to saying she's figures are mine, but this is not mine. <laughs> but let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite dessert? Because parfait, uh, parfaits are mine. I like cookies. No, cake. Yeah, cake is my favorite. But leave a like and let's get into the video. Alright guys, so her box here, she looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the illustration of the box, the glossy imprints of the sakura flowers on the sides. And it honestly kind of looks like a box is a dessert. Like it's wrapped up in a certain aesthetic that feels like it's a gift and it's super well done i absolutely love that attention detail for this figure this um company native or i think yeah native is the one that did manufacture this one because native does work with other companies with binding and other like pink cat rocket boy but this box did, they did an amazing job kind of giving you that it looks like a matcha dessert which is basically what she her the base is a dessert in that regard but i absolutely love it also i did get uh, not again like not me but my fiance did get it from native which means you do get the illustration card with it i absolutely love the art it is so nice i honestly would love to try a dessert like this in japan i bet it would be delicious and we also have the instructions here but we don't really need them it's pretty self-explanatory just a heads up whenever you guys have zip ties like this or these metal twisties always get like a clip a tonal clipper that's what i use and it clips it really easily all right getting her out of the box she it was pretty easy besides those little clip things everyone's arch nemesis but besides all that she was popped right on out she looks phenomenal guys like i am in love with this figure i really wish it was mine but either way i'm so happy that my fiance has her on her shelf and i get to just walk by every time we go into the bedroom and like oh there's parfait girl she looks beautiful on your collection so i am super happy to be allowed that my fiance let me unbox her on the channel um, i haven't seen too many people unbox her besides one another good friend pokey trap i highly go i highly recommend you guys check out her their channel their channel is absolutely amazing. They have so such a great collection. And yeah, their vi video is so in detail about this becoming their favorite uh, favorite figure. So if you haven't watched mine, go watch theirs. Absolutely gorgeous. But again, the details on this 1-6 scale is amazing. The ruffles on her kimono, or I'm not sure what outfit she's wearing, Yukata, but she looks so nice. The highlighting, the colors, and the base is literally like, amazing i would pay a lot just for that base itself i've never had a base with food like this this much detail and this figure came out two years ago at least the announcement of it and it's just amazing how it turned out i put this little piece of foam because i was afraid it would scratch up that plasticky base thing but it turned out at the end i didn't even need it because i thought i was gonna have a paint transfer at the bottom because i didn't want anything to mess up that beautiful detail of that base but again look at all the desserts the the caramel sauce the red bean the ice cream the wafers everything looks so good the matcha ice cream I had a little trouble here putting her base on, but if you go, if you look at the instructions, there's a little 
a piece that you have to hook the ice cream outside of the cup like it's dripping outside and also um i did receive or again I, it's not mine but the bottom base that little stand that part broke off so i'm pretty sure it was not supposed to be like that so i hope everything turns out okay at the end i probably could just glue it and fix it for my fiance and hope that everything will be okay but she still stands and sits perfectly fine and she's still gorgeous nonetheless but here she is on the spin table for you guys or turntable but she is phenomenal i am 100 percent super happy even though it's not mine like i'm saying just that my fiance loved this this illustration we both did and i knew it was gonna be outstanding because native does not um for me personally does not like it's not a disappointment i love native i've been collecting figures for like a long long time and i've been buying native for a while now and this one is beyond expectations like she is gorgeous even though even without the base the girl is super cute she is a cast off but I, I of course will be leaving all the clothes on i just personally think it takes away from the the figure like the your look to me you're looking at the base and her i just love everything on her so i'm just gonna leave her leave the clothes on for this video again for my other one native one fourth that we did a while ago that is already cast off i can't take that option off or on but this one i'm leaving on it's just to me better that way but oh my god guys the ice cream swirl the scoops of ice cream the matcha the red bean the little like wafers i think the ones that she's sitting on is so nice the detail and shading on her hair from the white and then her tips are pink the kimono she's wearing with the green and the white and pink and it's just so nice it looks so so good this figure was only 203 dollars at the native a native store price i'm not and that was with shipping of course that price is absolutely a deal breaker i am so happy my fiance was able to get this for that price it's ridiculous how some people are really trying to sell her for way more than that again she's really rare and i highly highly recommend it. if you could find her for a reasonable price snatch her up because she will not be going down anytime soon native does not do re-releases sometimes you could be lucky and they do have inventory sales where if they have a lot of extra product they will go back up on their native store but this girl is so good i love the ruffles on her apron her little toes are polished and then the little ribbon around her ankle is nice and then her kimono is hanging down hanging off the cup the green and brown it is so nice just take a moment to just look at everything. There's so much coloring, so much shading, so much hard work put into this scale. And this came out two years ago. Native has outdone themselves with this and I'm so happy to have this in the house. Again, not mine, but I'm still just happy to look at it. She is 100% gorgeous, phenomenal, 10 out of 10, 100 out of 10. I recommend this for sure. I, if you guys are not new, if you guys are new to uh, collecting, Native is a company I would highly recommend. But of course, they do do 18 and older, so I recommend, of course, to be at that age to be purchasing these scales. But let me know what you guys thought in the comments below about the beautiful Parfait Girl. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!